Okie dokie, pause and copy, pause and copy for the cross product, for the cross product. So only in R3. Um, this is the cross product. Um, in R4, R5, and R6, you can't, it's not possible to define a product that resembles this one. But in R7, oddly enough, it is possible to do something. Um, if you're curious, I could point you in the right direction. But we will move on in R3. So we're going to define it as a determinant. Very convenient. So here's an example. So I just throw this into a matrix. First row, sorry, second row is the first vector. Third row is the second vector. And then you put the vectors i, j, k. So these are the vectors, i, j, k. Um, so we're using a determinant as a convenient way to define this. Um, you know, this doesn't really make sense. You know, you have a vector inside of a matrix. But uh, if we do the determinants in the usual way, so I'm going to go across the first row. and do a determinant, as I usually do. Do, 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 how I usually do. Do, 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 don't make a mistake. Have to start over, not very much fun. Okay, double check that. B -b 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 I, the, the do, and the J with the minus, and the boop, boop, boo, and the K with the plus, and the boom, bop, booty, okay. Moving on, I, negative 8, minus J, negative 5, plus K, 2, K, 2, K, 2, K, 2, what's that? What is that? That is, something's gone wrong. 15 minus 6 is 9. Right. Oops, it is. So what do we mean here? We mean negative 8 times i. Uh, my, so plus 5 times j. Plus 9 times k. Finally giving us minus 8, 5, 9 -er. All right, here's an exercise for you to try. Ba, 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 pause, copy, try, and you get 3 root 29. Okay, don't forget to factor out the 3 before you do the length. So let me know how that goes if it doesn't go well. Some properties for the cross product. So pause and copy. Now, some of these are pretty obvious if you think about the determinant. U cross U. Okay, what that means is that my in my determinant, uh, where? In my determinant up here, these two rows are the same. Okay, so we have zero. Um, if I switch two rows in a determinant, that introduces a minus, right? Um, what else? Here we have a K. You can think of it as multiplying the row, a row of a determinant. So you can move it out front as we've seen. And um, so at least those ones are easy to see from the definition of the cross product.
Now, this one here, let's think about what it's saying at least. If I have u cross v, uh, let's put u here, and put v here, we put the origin here, and imagine that u is closer to um, u. So u is coming out of the paper, and let's say v is behind the paper screen, I guess. Now what we do is we do what's called the right hand rule. That means I point my fingers in the direction with my right hand. So I take my right hand, point my fingers in the direction of u, curl them towards v, my fingers, and then my thumb is going to point in the direction of the cross product. Now this is forming a right angle with V and it's also forming a right angle with U. That's what is being said with this guy right here. Um, so I described the right-hand rule. So you may want to look this up. Or rewind the video. It tells you which direction. It tells you that u cross v is going up in this case and not down. Okay, I want you to pause, copy, and try this exercise. Pause, copy, try. So some of these things just don't exist at all. They don't make any sense. Like you cannot do a dot product of a number with a vector. You cannot do a cross product of a number with a vector. You cannot do a... What else? I think those are the main ones. Okay, so we don't define these things. We do not define the cross product of a number with a vector. And the remaining things will be in R3 or in R. Now, first one is defined. And this one gives you a, a vector in R3. Why is that? Well, because this is in R3. And then you do another cross product, giving you something in R3. Part B, you have a vector in R3, dot a vector in R3. So you get something that's, that's just a real number. Okay, recall the dot product gives you a real number, whereas the cross product gives you a three-dimensional vector. This one is undefined because we do not define a dot product of a vector with a real number. That is not defined. In D, we're doing something different. We have a real number multiplied by a vector. Okay, in the sense of scalar multiplication. So we get something in R3 here. And E is undefined because we have a real number cross product with a vector not defined. Let's ponder this one now, and we'll come back to it in the next video.